patterns in our surroundings and shapes. Chutki, are you back after playing? Yes, mummy. I'm back. Are the new tiles fixed in the bathroom? Yes. Go and have a look at it yourself. Mummy, what is this? The tiles are not stuck in order in the bathroom. They are not uniform. Chitki, the tiles are stuck properly. Look, a pattern is made in the tiles by sticking them in this manner. Oh yes, here in the first row, the tiles are laid in an uniform manner. And in the second row, the tiles are placed in between two tiles above it. And this pattern is repeated again and again. Okay, so this is a pattern, isn't it? Yes, Shutki. Would you like to know more about the patterns? Yes, Mummy. I want to know more about the patterns. So friends, today we will learn to identify the patterns in the objects in our surroundings and how to build them further. Look Chitki, here a pattern is created in my sari using big and small flowers. Yes, the big and small flowers are repeated in your sari. Now look at this, a pattern of one black square and then one white square followed by a black square is repeated in a chess board. Oh yes, you are right. Chitki, come on. Now let's go to the kitchen. Okay, let's go. Now look, a pattern is made using triangles on this pot of water. Oh yes. Look carefully. Here in this pot, a triangle is made with a flower in it. This is followed by an upside down triangle that again has a flower in it. Yes, and this pattern is repeated again and again. Yes, Chitki, look, there are patterns on so many objects in our surroundings. Yes, Mummy, I will find some more patterns. Now, can you help me complete my school homework? Yes, Chitki, come on, I will help you complete your homework. Look, Mummy, I have to do this homework. Oh, this homework is about patterns which we learned just now. You can do it very easily. Yes, Mummy. Here there are only circles in the first given pattern. I can't identify any pattern here. Look carefully. The circles are filled with colors and these colors are repeated in a particular order. First circle is filled with green color. The second circle is filled with yellow color. And the third circle is filled with green color. Yes. The yellow and green colors are repeated in the next circles. You are right. Now if you fill the next circles with yellow and green color and repeat it, the pattern will be complete. Yes. This pattern is very easy. Come on, now look at the second pattern. This pattern is made of two shapes. Yes, you identified it right. There are triangles and circles in this pattern. Now look carefully. There is a small circle shape inside the triangle and after that there is a small triangle shape inside the circle in this pattern. This pattern is repeated again and again. Now tell me, which shapes would come at the empty places? Mm, so now, a small triangle inside a circle would come here in the empty place. Well done. Come on, now try building this pattern. A shape with a small circle inside a triangle would come next. What will come after that? 
a shape with a small triangle inside a circle would follow this absolutely right well done come on now you identify the patterns in the objects in our surroundings okay mummy yes so friends today in this video we learn how to identify patterns which occur in the objects and shapes and also how to build them further in the next video we will learn to identify the patterns in the objects and shapes in our surroundings and how to build them further with some examples and we will also get to know about some common mistakes in our surroundings and shapes examples friends in the previous video we learned to identify the patterns in objects and shapes and how to build them further today we will learn to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes and we will see some interesting examples related to building them further mummy can i help you in doing the work no chutki i have done all the chores come on let us both play an interesting game of making patterns and building them further yes we will have fun look i will make a pattern with the help of these match sticks you have to identify that pattern and build it further okay one standing match stick one sleeping match stick near it then again two standing match sticks and two sleeping match sticks now you proceed with this pattern next it will be two standing match sticks and two sleeping match sticks again not like that chutki look at this pattern a little more carefully first there is one standing match stick and then one sleeping match stick in this pattern next there are two standing match sticks and two sleeping match sticks it means here the number of match sticks is increasing by one each time oh yes first one one match stick and then two two match sticks yes so how many match sticks do you have to put next in this pattern 3 3 match sticks after 2 2 match sticks it means we will put 3 standing match sticks and 3 sleeping match sticks oh wow well done now how will you move ahead with this pattern we will move ahead by placing 4 4 match sticks which means 4 standing match sticks and 4 sleeping match sticks Well done Chutki you completed this pattern in a perfect manner Come on now let's look at the next pattern See now I will make pattern with these candles you have to complete it Okay four big candles four small candles near them then again three big candles and three small candles Yes then again we will place two big candles and after that two small candles Yes you are absolutely right now proceed with this pattern and complete it It is easy we have to place three big candles and three small candles after two candles No chutki look carefully each time the number of candles is decreased by 1 initially we had 4 4 candles after that 3 3 candles and then 2 2 candles mm. so this pattern will be complete if we place one big candle and one small candle beside it yes well done chutki mummy i'm having so much fun ask me one more questions on the patterns come on Now look carefully at this pattern and tell me 
which colors do you have to fill in the unfill arrows? We have to fill green color in two standing arrows and red color in one sleeping unfill arrow. Chitki, there are blue, red, green. These three colors are filled in this pattern. Now look carefully at the standing arrows in this pattern. Of these arrows, the downward arrows are filled with green color and upward arrows are filled with blue color and the sleeping arrows are filled with red color. Now tell me, which colors do we have to fill the following arrows with? Mm, of these arrows, first arrow is going downward so we will have to fill it with green color. And we will fill the arrow going upwards with blue color. Absolutely right, Chutki. Next. Now we will fill the sleeping arrow with red color. Then the downward arrow is filled with green color and upward arrow with blue color. Wow! Well done, Chutki. Thank you, Mummy. Friends, so today we learned to identify the patterns which are made with objects and shapes. We also saw some interesting examples related to building the pattern further. In the next video, we will get to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the patterns made from shapes. Patterns in our surroundings and shapes. Common mistakes. Friends, in this video, we will see some common mistakes that we make while identifying the pattern made from the shapes. Chitki, come on, let's see some more patterns today. You will have to identify them and build them further. Okay, mummy. You have to identify this pattern and build it further. Oh, the triangle will be the next in this pattern. Come on, Chitki. You have to look carefully at the pattern and understand it no matter how many shapes or colors are used. Look, the square, rectangle and triangle. These three shapes are repeated in one order in this pattern. Yes, first shape is square, second is rectangle and third is triangle. If we repeat these shapes in this order, then after triangle, square, after square, rectangle and after rectangle, it is triangle. See, this pattern is complete. Well done, Chitki. Now you continue to study and I will do my work. Okay, mummy. So friends, in this video, we got to know about the common mistakes we make while identifying the pattern made with shapes. Patterns in Numbers Children, in the previous video, we saw that Chutki, with the help of her mother, learned to recognize and complete the patterns in objects and shapes. Today, we will learn to recognize the patterns in numbers and take it forward. Good morning, children. Good morning, sir. Children, today we will play a fun game with numbers. A game with numbers? Wow, we'll, we'll have, have fun. Chutki, you come here. Look, I'm going to play this tambourine. 
and you will have to listen to its sound carefully and answer my questions. Okay, sir. Now tell me, Chutki, how many times did I play this tambourine? You first played the tambourine one time, then two times. One, two, one, and two. At that many times you played. Well done. Yes. So children, I played this tambourine one, two, one, two, one, two times. So look, this has become a number pattern. Now it's your turn, Pinky. Okay, sir. Pinky, how many times did I play the tambourine? You first played the tambourine three times, then one, three, one. Three and one, like this. Well done, Pinky. Yes. So, children, now I will write on the board the numbers as said by Pinky. Three, one, three, one, three, one. Pinky, can you see a pattern in these numbers? Hmm. Here in the first line, one, two. One, two. These numbers have been repeated to make a pattern, sir. Yes. And in the next line, three, one, three, one. These numbers have been repeated to make a pattern. Sir, what will be the next step of this game? It's very easy. Let's move ahead with this pattern. Tell me, what comes next in the first pattern? Mm, in the first pattern, the next number is one followed by two. Well done, Chutki. Children, now to move ahead with the second pattern, which number comes next? Sir, to move ahead with the second pattern, we will write after one, three. And then one again. Rightly said. Now look, another pattern of numbers. Come, let us understand this one. In this pattern, it is nineteen, then twenty, then twenty-one. This means that each time the numbers are increasing by one. Yes. So Chutki, you tell me what comes next in this pattern. Um. After twenty-one will come twenty-two and then twenty-three. Oh wow! Well done, Chutki. Come, Pinky. Now it's your turn. You take this pattern forward. In this pattern, after twenty-four comes twenty-five, and after twenty-five comes twenty-six. Very good, Pinky. So, children, are you having fun playing this pattern game of numbers? Yes, sir. It is a lot of fun. Children, come. Let us see another pattern with numbers. Let us understand the rules of this pattern, and then complete it. Chutki, can you complete this pattern? Yes. In this pattern, six comes after five. Chutki, see the rules of this pattern. After one. It is not two, but three. After three, it's not four, but five. This pattern proceeds with alternate numbers. Yes. So, like this, after five comes seven and not six. Well done, Chutki. Come, Pinky. Now proceed with this pattern. In this pattern, ten does not come after nine. The next number will be eleven, and after eleven will come thirteen, and not twelve. Wow, Pinky! Well done. 
children here in the first number pattern one has been added to each number to take it forward like adding 1 to 19 makes 20 and adding 1 to 20 makes 21 and in the next pattern 2 has been added to each number to proceed with the pattern like adding 1 and 2 makes 3 and adding 2 to 3 makes it 5 children tomorrow we will see more number patterns till then bye children okay sir so. bye friends today we learned to recognize number patterns and to complete them in the next video with the help of some more examples we will see how to recognize number patterns and complete them patterns in numbers interesting examples today with the help of examples we will recognize patterns in numbers and learn how to complete them children in the previous video we learned to recognize patterns in numbers and to complete them today we will see examples related to this topic okay sir today i will draw a pattern with the help of square shapes first two squares then four squares and then six squares children can you tell me how to move ahead with this pattern hmm in this pattern the numbers of squares are increasing Yes, Chutki. Initially, this pattern had two squares. Adding two more squares makes it four squares. Two four squares. Adding two more squares makes it six squares. Similarly, every time the number of squares are increased by two. Can you guess how many squares will be present in the next step? If this pattern is repeated, currently the pattern has six squares. Adding two more squares, seven and eight. This means there will be eight squares in the next step. Oh wow! Well done. Similarly, in the next step, adding two squares to eight will make it ten squares. So, children, this is how we proceed with this pattern. children let us see another pattern see this pattern is made of buildings now tell me how many floors are there in the first building the first building has 7 floors and how many floors are there in the second building ah uh, the second building has 6 floors and the third building has 5 floors okay now let's continue and complete the pattern this is easy sir in this pattern we reduce one floor each time and proceed with the pattern right yes pinky rightly said following this pattern and moving to the next step we deduct one from five we get a four story building well done pinky children We proceed with this pattern by reducing the number of floors by one at a time. Hence, next step we get three, then reducing one from three we get two, and after two comes a single story building. And with this, the pattern comes to an end. Thank you, sir. These patterns are very interesting. Friends today in this video we learned to recognize number patterns and to complete them in the next video we will learn to correct the mistakes made while recognizing numbers patterns
patterns in numbers common errors today we will see few mistakes made while recognizing number patterns children you know about the patterns in numbers so today let us see some more patterns in the given number pattern you have to recognize the numbers that have been left out okay sir in this number pattern which are the numbers that have been left out this is easy 16 will come after 15 no chutki look at this pattern carefully and find out how to continue with this pattern i did not understand sir look here after 5 is 10 in this pattern adding 5 to 5 has made 10 like adding 1 to 5 makes 6 adding 2 makes it 7 adding 3 makes it 8 adding 4 makes it 9 and adding 5 has made it 10 This way, five has been added each time to carry the pattern forward. Similarly, five has been added to ten to make it fifteen. So now tell me, in this pattern going forward, what number will we get if we add five to fifteen? If we add one to fifteen, we get sixteen. Adding two, we get seventeen. Adding three makes it eighteen. adding 4 makes it 19 and adding 5 to 15 will make it 20 so answer is 20 yes and so similarly adding 5 to 20 makes it 25 so this is the way to carry the pattern forward come let us see the next pattern now let's complete this pattern to continue this pattern After forty comes forty-one, forty-two, forty-three. Oh no! Look at this pattern carefully. As the pattern continues, the numbers are decreasing. Yes. Here after sixty, fifty, and after fifty, it's forty written here. So, what is the pattern here? Let's understand this pattern. In this pattern, subtracting ten from sixty, we get fifty. Subtracting ten from fifty will get forty. Similarly, subtracting ten each time, we proceed with this pattern. Can you try now? Hmm. Subtracting ten from forty, we get thirty. Subtracting ten from thirty, we get twenty. subtracting 10 from 20 we get 10 absolutely correct children you can see several number patterns like these okay sir friends in this video we learned to correct the mistakes made while recognizing number patterns